Mechatronics System Design is the culminating course for Kennesaw State University's Bachelor of Science in Mechatronics Engineering curriculum. Projects require planning, proposal presentation, scheduling, engineering, implementation, and written and oral presentations of project results. Students are encouraged to design slash build and utilize concepts learned from courses throughout the program. The Pancake Ninja team elected to develop a pancake vending machine as our senior design project. As conceived, the pancake vending machine would comprise an automated system that both cooks and dispenses single-serve pancake meals in exchange for virtual payment. When a customer tenders payment via a virtual point-of-sale terminal, a central processing unit would trigger and monitor the pancake making process. Dry pancake mix and filtered water would be pumped into the mixing unit, which would combine the ingredients to create pancake batter. The pancake batter would be poured in onto a heated non-stick cooking surface. Once the first side of the pancake was cooked through, a robot arm would flip the pancake. Once the second side was cooked through, the robot arm would plate the finished pancake in a server box located in a delivery station. The server box would include condiments like syrup, butter, and this customer would then retrieve their pancake and meal from the delivery window. The project's minimum success criteria, the basic functionality the pancake vending machine prototype needed to achieve, was defined accordingly. One pancake per order, and one successful order per hour, where a successful order entailed the vending machine-based mixing, cooking, flipping, and plating of a single pancake fit for human consumption. The engineering design process traditionally follows a linear progression from problem formulation to detailed documentation. New design management frameworks, primarily arising from software development, are more iterative. The Mechatronic System Design course incorporates aspects from both philosophies. Our prefabrication phases, such as brainstorming, decisioning, and parameter selection, follow legacy mythology. During physical prototyping and design iteration, however, we adopted an agile scrum management system to quickly iterate software and hardware prototyping from proof of concept to alpha to beta. Our key metrics informing design evaluation included material costs, time to fabrication, environmental impacts, order delivery time, machine safety, and ease of fabrication and maintenance. Task one for the project's development was deciding on a pancake recipe. To do so, we conducted a trade study that compared seven different prepared pancake mixes. Each dry mix required the addition of only water, allowing us to forgo refrigeration and reduce the system's environmental footprint. In evaluating the seven candidates, the criteria of taste, cook time, and price per pancake were weighted more heavily than appearance, texture, and smell. Krusty's Buttermilk was the ultimate winner. It was the least costly option, required approximately only two minutes of cook time per side, compared to five minutes for some others, and scored high with our focus group on taste, texture, appearance, and smell. From there, we began the development of the major systems necessary to meet our minimum success criteria. Those systems included a structural frame and enclosure, power and routing, computing and motor controllers, batter mixer and dispenser, and last but not least, the pancake flipper. The structural frame and enclosure are the main housing for the vending machine. For ease of system modification and maintenance, this frame was designed to serve as an mobile rapid prototyping platform, which various modules could be easily mounted and removed during the prototyping process. The power and routing systems utilize a standard ATX power supply common to tower PCs with a COTS breakout board that makes typical voltages 3.3, 5, 12, and 24 volts readily available. The computing and motor controller system comprises of a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus serving as the machine's central processing unit. Raspberry Pi is an Internet of Things capable microprocessor running an embedded variant of Debian Linux called Raspbian. The Pi controls relay servos and takes sensory input using its general purpose input and output pins. And an Arduino Uno with a CNC stepper motor shield running Gerbil, an open source G code interpreter for microcontrollers and other resource constrained environments. G code instructions are sent from the Pi to the Arduino over USB to control the motors in charge of the flipper arms and the translational axes with side to side, back and forth, up and down. The battery mixer and dispenser leveraged a modified off-the-shelf electric battery mixer that is controlled by both digital and PWM signals from the Raspberry Pi. 
The Pancake Flipper is a custom-built CNC XYZ gantry system with a spatula attached to the service and send effector. Similar to a 3D printer or CNC lathe, it is a feed-forward kinematic machine that uses a start position as a zero, and basic stepper motor kinematics to derive its position in 3-space. This video demonstrates the Pancake Machine's many subsystems working in concert to satisfy our minimum success criteria. The functionality demonstrated was achieved February 28, 2020, just eight weeks into the semester. Soon after, however, the University System of Georgia was obliged to close all campuses to students and transition to strictly online course delivery in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Mechatronics systems design teams have since been instructed to modify their minimum success criteria such that it can be achieved without in-person collaboration. The pancake bending machine's modified MSC is as follows. One successful order, where a successful order entails the vending machine-based mixing, cooking, flipping, and plating of a single pancake fit for human consumption. Have me demonstrate the satisfaction of that criteria in the time before the pandemic using the alpha iteration of the flipping mechanism, we finalized proof of concept for the hopper and focused development on those systems accommodating remote collaborative development, an alpha iteration of the graphical user interface, the beta iteration of the central processing unit and control board. The final iteration of the control board is a mobile application that controls the remote execution of our executable code on the Pi using a WebSocket server and Node-RED. The system's functionality fortunately met our minimum goals despite the coronavirus outbreak's impact on this project. All functions, from preparation to cooking to serving, are automated, with the exception of adding dry pancake mix and filtered water. The entire process from payment to plating takes less than five minutes, a design constraint set with our customers' needs in mind. The mixer evenly blends the batter and dispenses the batter accurately enough to produce pancakes sized and textured within our design parameters. Prepared pancake color and consistency were within tolerance for human consumption across production runs. The flipper precisely positions itself on command and can quickly be re-zeroed after cleaning and setup. Serendipitously, the plating process is capable of stacking pancakes, a feature that was beyond the project's original, original scope of work, but affords future prototypes the potential of serving multiple pancakes simultaneously. Overall, the project team's formal engineering education, hands-on experience, skilled project management, and hard work led to the successful integration of disparate, low-cost, commercial off-the-shelf systems into a sophisticated breakfast food automaton. An auxiliary benefit of our project development was the inclusion of an Intro to Mechatronics student as an intern. Kennedy Garrett is just beginning her journey with a mechatronics engineering education, but now has hands-on experience with the culminating capstone project. This collaboration was an innovative first for the mechatronics department. Unique among her peers in dedication, she saw firsthand the benefits of seeing our demanding curriculum to completion. She will serve as the model mentee for future mechatronics engineering cohorts. Through customer interactions and project development, several promising lines of investigation for future features were uncovered. Mounting rails that allow subsystem modules to be easily removed, repaired, and replaced without the need for complicated disassembly. Viewing glass, interior lighting, and body panels that improve the system's aesthetic appeal. A retrieval system with a safety mechanism that prevents a customer from reaching into the machine. Automatic griddle lubrication, self-cleaning mixing system, and pancake flavor topping and stack size options. The inclusion of these features will create a more robust and marketable machine capable of delivering the value of a convenient hot meal to an even wider audience. We would like to thank those who helped make this project possible. Our professors and support staff for this course, Kevin McFall, Matthew Marshall, 
Cecilia McDaniel, and James Hudak, our many professors and mentors who have guided us through our university education, our families who have supported our long nights of math and strange relationships with science. This project was a joy and a privilege to work on, but like many others, we found our work interrupted by the need to shelter in place to protect those vulnerable members in our community. From the entire Pancake Ninja team, we hope the best for you and your family during these difficult times.